guys, it's Reagan, and today I thought I would do a video where in which I recommend some winter reads to you guys because winter is coming. I'm sorry, I could not make this video and not say that line. So let's move on. And the books I'm going to recommend to you today are not going to be books that are just like set in a winter setting and things like that, but rather books that I personally like to read when it gets cold outside. And to kind of give you a broad arch overarching theme, the books that I like to read when it's cold outside generally have a, you know, um, question morality or have some sort of like deeper meaning because I guess I get more serious when I'm cold. So generally that's kind of the theme. And I try to pick some well-known titles that maybe a lot of people haven't read, but then also reintroduce some titles that I think are known, but maybe a lot of people haven't seen in a while. So let's get on to the list. The very, very first book I'm gonna recommend to you guys is an extremely well-known book and is in fact my favorite book. And that is The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. The movie comes out today in America. And this book is a fantastic story. It follows a character named Liesel, and her story is actually narrated by death, but that's kind of complicated. Basically, it is a historical fiction novel set in World War II Germany, um, and it follows Liesel's story as a child, and she just, it's her existence, really. And it seems really simple. The idea seems really simple, but it is very complicated and an extremely rich story. It is absolutely beautiful. And basically it follows her just living as a child and during Nazi Germany. And the point is that she begins to steal books and kind of what her life turns into because of this. Um, one of my all time favorite books and something I really hope to reread this winter as well. The next book I want to recommend is The Giver by Lewis Lowry. And this is one of the first book series I've read in one of my all time favorite book series. It's actually a quartet and The Giver is the first one. This story is a dystopian, I would say, way before dystopian was super popular, so it's a different type of dystopian, you can tell when you read it. And it follows a main character named Jonah, and he lives in a world where there is no color, there's no emotion, there's nothing. And you live in this existence, and you don't really notice because you don't, because you don't know it exists. And there's one position in society where all of these feelings, color, and knowledge goes to. And he gets that position, because you're assigned a position in this world, and he kind of has to deal with that. Now that he knows, can he ever go back to the society before? And it's a beautiful story, and it's, the, it's a whole quartet. So if you have read The Giver before, and you haven't read Gathering Blue, The Messenger, and then The Sun, all by Lois Lowry, I recommend you, I implore you to continue on with the story, because it is fantastic. The next book I want to recommend to you is The House of the Scorpion by Nancy Farmer. I just recently read this book and raved about it so I just thought I would tack it into this list because it again is another beautiful story following a main character Matt and he is a clone of an extremely well lord called El Patron and in the story basically it's him struggling with the ideas of what it means to be a human or is he defined by society or can he define or is he defined by the choices he makes and the morality he has and things like that. It's a really great story. Um, and it's a wonderful story to read during the winter time. <laughs> the next book I want to recommend to you guys is actually my favorite fantasy series and I've been trying to talk it up on booktube because I just feel like everybody would love it if they'd read it. And the first one is called Furies of Calderon and this is by Jim Butcher. It is a massive fantasy series. Basically follows a main character named Tavi, where in which he lives in a world where everybody can control different elements uh, called Furies, and they're manifestations of these elements. So there's like wind Furies, water Furies, fire Furies, metal Furies, wood Furies, ground Furies, etc, etc. Our main character Tavi, though, cannot control any of these. And this is the synopsis of the first book out of six. It's very complicated, it's very rich in character detail, scenery, world building, it is fantastic, keeps you guessing, absolutely freaking love it. The first one is Fears of Calderon. Wonderful winter read, everyone. The next book I want to recommend is The Golden Compass by Philip Pullman. Another book I really want to try to reread this winter time because it's been a long time, but it is another beautiful story. Are you detecting a theme here? Because 
I am. And this follows a character named Lyra, and she lives in this sort of alternate sci-fi fantasy universe where everyone has a daemon, daemon, which is a kind of animal manifestation of like their soul in a way. And basically what happens is that somebody starts kidnapping children and attempts to separate them from their daemon, which is like separating your soul from your body, so it's no bueno. And her best friend is kidnapped, and she goes on a quest to find her best friend. And it's a really awesome trilogy. The Golden Compass is the first one. It's just really awesome. And I haven't read it in a really long time, so I really, really want to reread that. The book I want to recommend is The Diviners by Libba Bray, another book I've read pretty recently. It follows our main character named Evie, and she lives in the 1920s, and she moves to New York with her uncle. And he is a museum curator, gotta love museum curators, for the Museum of the Occult. The story starts, centers around a whole bunch of murders that happen, and it seems to be beyond just the scope of normalcy and leans towards the scope of a cult. Evie has to, you know, stumbles upon some dark powers and things like that and it's just a really, really cool story. Mystery, murder, magic, um, and plus it quotes Nietzsche like a whole bunch of times, which I'm a sucker for, what can I say? I'm just so depressing. <laughs> anyway, it's a really cool, cool, fast story that is really really extremely interesting and the last one I'm gonna recommend to you guys is The Knife of Never Letting Go by Patrick Ness if you haven't already read this because I've told you to yet another reason another reason why I need to recommend it this book follows a main character named Todd and he lives in a world where all the women are dead and everybody can hear everybody else's thoughts until one day he stumbles upon complete silence and this changes his life forever and sends him on a quest that basically makes him find out not only about himself and what it means to be a man, but also the destiny and the future of his entire planet. So extremely freaking awesome. So yes, uh, those are all the books I recommend to read this winter. If, as you can see, they're all kind of moral driven, character driven, not so much romance driven. But they're all extremely beautiful stories and I would love if you guys read them and then told me and we can talk about it. Okay. Bye guys, see you again soon with another video.